Hey, what's up? Good morning, welcome to the show, and welcome to Faith Church. My name is Pablo Farnan, I'm a worship leader here. Uh, I've done a video similar to this about worship leading here at this church, but today I happen to be playing drums. That's actually something that I've been doing for the past like four or five years. Been playing electric guitar for about 15 years. I definitely will be doing a video on that, but I happen to be playing drums this morning here at church. And I said to myself, why don't I make a video that kind of goes along the lines of what I just did for worship leading, but instead for a drummer on a Sunday morning. So we just finished our Sunday morning rehearsals. I'm gonna go through every single detail of what goes into doing this. Now again, I'm fairly new to drumming, so bear with me. If you have any tips for me, let me know in the comment section below. But I'd love to share with you what we do and how we do it here. So we have services starting in about 15 minutes. Let's get this thing going. Also, I totally was balancing you on my ride symbol just here. <laughs> very risky, very risky stuff. So there's a lot that goes into this, but normally when I'm here on stage, I have a couple things with me. So first things for, oh, did my camera just fall? It almost fell. So normally when I'm here on stage, I use a FitJoy golf glove. Uh, the main reason I use that is because when I actually grab the stick with my left hand, I tend to get blisters on the inside of my hand just because I tend to crack on the snare pretty hard. So this really helps me out. The only reason I even used this was because I was kind of in a bind one morning and it was the only thing that I had in my car and I kind of just been using it ever since. <laughs> I definitely know they make like proper drum gloves, but this is kind of what I've been using. I currently use Vic Fur 5As. I tend to go between 7As and 5As depending on the size of the room. I also use hot rods, but these 5As have been doing me real good. For in-ears, I use 64 audio. I have six driver in-ears, so I have six drivers in each ear. Two high, two mid, two low per ear. So that's kind of what I use right here. I love them. They're the best custom in-ears ever. I mean, I've never used another company, so I'm sure there's other ones that are really good, but these work really great. So we have a service starting in about 15 minutes, so we have a devotional that we have to do before we get on stage. Uh, I definitely will show you the rest of this in a little bit, but we gotta get going right now. I promise to show you all this as well. I showed you this in the worship leader video, but I'll still show you again, no problem. Just, just we gotta, we gotta do the devotional first. So we have this back kitchen here. It's kind of an old setup, but this is where we meet. It's side stage, kind of like side stage, before we go on for our three services. Uh, again, we have three services here, 8, 30, 9, 45, and 11, 15. Um, we do probably be about maybe anywhere from 800 to 1,000 people per service so that's kind of what we've got going on here at this space um, but again just wanted to show you kind of where we meet for our devotional it's not really drum specific but it's worship specific if you plan on doing worship correctly anyway so that that's kind of what we do here in this space so after we meet in here then we move over here this is our main worship space in here there's only some of the half the chairs are up right now which is interesting but we have this curtain here that we have on a wire and then that covers our direction so we can go in here. Now, also as a drummer, pretty important to know, we have all our in-ear packs right here. This is the drum one that is labeled. It's a Sennheiser 300 IEM G3. All of our in-ears are labeled on the inside, so that makes sure that you know you have the right one. All battery powered, and they're all charged in this unit right here. It's definitely a nice thing to be able to go from the drum set right back here backstage and then you can see where we have our inner pack right here. So that's nice. Thank you, Faith Church, for that. This is kind of our backstage setup. I think I've showed you this in the worship leader one, but this is where we can hang. We have a television right here with a speaker, so we're actually able to watch the sermon, see what's happening, and we're side stage. Super helpful. And then when we go out to the stage, this is kind of what it looks like. Well, not exactly like this, but like this. So here at Faith Church, we have a pretty big like room that we do our worship in. Um, and we just noticed that with that comes a lot of like dust and particles and different things that kind of move throughout the air So what we like to do is cover the drums with a blanket so that it doesn't get dirty It doesn't get stuff on it residue all those kinds of things and we can keep everything as clean and as, uh, as nice as possible Okay, so let's do a quick little drum tour here. This is our house kit. It's actually a DW performance series kit This stays here at all times. We don't change it out It normally is the kit that we have for everything that we do here at Faith Church. Well at least in this room we have, we have two venues here at Faith, so this is for the live service. So on the bottom, we have a 22 by 18 kick drum. We have an Aquarian Super Kick 2 skin on the inside. I personally love this kick drum. It has some great punch, but also has some really great like undertones to it that I just love for this room and for worship as well. So we have a three tom setup here for the shell pack. We have a 12 inch, 14 inch, and 16 inch tom. All of them are Evans G2 coated heads. We used to have clear ones, but we moved to the coated ones. And personally, I really like the look and sound of these new heads. We have a Yamaha custom birch snare. And on this snare, we have an Evans 
HD dry snare head. Personally, love the sound of this. It's got a great crack, real fat sound. And then we also use some of these gels on here just to control some of the resonance. So these are the house symbols that we have on here. These are not mine. I actually have heartbeats, which I'll go over them in just a minute. But these are the K Custom hats that we have here on the house kit. We have a Sabian crash over here. This is a 16 inch. We have a 21 inch K ride right here. And we also have a Zildjian A Custom. This is a 17 inch K Custom Zildjian crash. I have an A head armor case. Got some really nice wool on the inside that keeps my symbols really, really safe. I actually got them all the way from America to Thailand and Thailand back to America when we led worship at a conference in Bangkok. And this thing kept them safe. I have 16 inch classic thin hats. I have a 20 inch thin crash. I have a 22 inch thin crash. And I have a 24 inch thin ride. So I definitely want Istanbul symbols, but they are literally the price each for the pack that I just showed you. So I just stuck with Heartbeats. They're a great Christian company. The wash and the thinness and the hugeness of them just works incredibly well for worship. And a lot of people in the worship scene are using them. This is a really tight shot. For some of these mics that we have here, we have some Audix. We have a Shure here another Audix over here, and then we use another Shure right here for the snare. We also have some Shure microphones underneath for the hi-hat and for some of the cymbals as well. Those are usually hidden underneath instead of being overhead, just because overhead, right now we currently have this cage that we're using just to control in this room a little bit because this room is actually not the best room by any means. It's actually a huge cinder block. <laughs> is really what it is. This used to be a gymnasium that they actually turned into a worship center now. So this cage has been helping us a lot to control some of the sound. Even though we don't love the look or the feel necessarily, it's definitely good from a control standpoint for our sound guys in the back. On the ground here, we have some iron cobras for our pedals. And then here we have a rock and sock throne. Absolutely love this throne. Super comfortable, really, really easy to use. Absolutely love it. Now over here we have a MacBook that we use. We run Ableton on this. This is how we run all of our tracks. We use this Akai MIDI controller and we have everything labeled. So the video is what starts everything off and then we have songs one, two, three, four, and five. If we have any others, we have that available. We have the play button, the stop button, and the click only button. If we want to play one of the songs with just the click and no tracks, you can hit click only and then play and it'll play everything for you. Everybody on stage has these. This is Alan and Heath. These are in-ear monitors that we each have so everybody in the band has one on all parts of the stage obviously the drummer included and this is nice because you can actually see every single person that's on stage with each of these the system's not turned on right now so i'm not able to see it but it's nice because you can control your in-ear monitors manually yourself without having to rely on anybody else absolutely love this setup and for some of you audio nerds out there you can actually pan everything in your ears like you would on like a cd or anything like that so you can actually pan left pan right and you can make everything stereo it's the most beautiful, beautiful setup for people that like to have good, good in-ear mixes. Check, check, check one, two. All right, so I've said this before. I wonder what that, I don't I think it's that thing. I think so too, because I hear you. But it sounds like a coffee maker, but it's not, right? Anyway, as I was saying here, um, we use this app called Planning Center Online, so PCO for short. I talked about it in my last worship video, which I'll link either here or below. Um, check that video out, and then inside of that, I've really explained de in detail what this app does, if you don't already know. Uh, it's amazing for churches, it's amazing for organizations that just have music involved and stuff. It's all in there, so just Check that video out for those details. But with all that being said, I think that's everything when it comes to drums. So I, if, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to answer them and help you out if I can. Like I said, I'm new to drumming, so this is still something that I'm learning how to do, but hopefully this was helpful to show you kind of how we do things at Faith Church uh, from a drummer's behind the scenes on a Sunday. Is that? Something like that. Also, if you're a drummer and you're watching this, let me know where you are drumming. I'd love to know whether it be a church or if you're in a band or whatever, just let me know where you're from and where you're playing drums. And uh, I'd love to see what you guys are doing with your stuff as well. So, appreciate you. Like, comment, subscribe, all the YouTube things, and I will see you very, very soon.